Hello, it's Alicia, and today I am talking about swimwear. And I'm not just going to give you swimwear shopping suggestions. Well, I am going to give you swimwear shopping suggestions, but in addition to that, I'm going to get into the nitty gritty of the specific details on some of these swimsuits to help you figure out which suit will be your best bet based on your shape not your size. So first, let's get into the difference between sizing and your shape. Your size, obviously, is the number that you buy when you're in a store and you're shopping, so you pick out an item based on the number, which is the size. The problem is that sizing is all over the place, and you probably already know this, so you may wear a size 8 in one brand, but then you're a size 12 or 14 in another brand. Okay, maybe that's a little bit of an exaggeration. They usually don't vary by that much, but I know that my sizing can definitely go up or down one or two sizes depending on which store or brand I'm shopping in. Your shape is based on your proportion, so it's your bones and your structure, and yes, it's where you carry your weight, but unless you have drastic weight gain or weight loss, your shape doesn't really change all that often. It's way more consistent than your size, which can be all over the place depending on where you shop. So that's why with swimwear, it is important to know your shape and understand your body shape because often or many times women can be a little bit more self-conscious when they're in swimwear. So when you understand your body shape, then you are arming yourself with the right information so that you can flatter your figure best and then you're going to feel your most confident when you're in your swimsuit. So let's get into it. I'm going to go through the five different body shapes and I'm going to make a suggestion with a particular swimsuit for that particular shape and I'm going to explain why I think this swimsuit would be a good fit for that body shape. First up is the inverted triangle. Now this is the shape that is broader on top, more narrow on the bottom. So a suit with a halter style that crisscrosses around the collarbones, that could be really effective for drawing the eye in. So if you're trying to create a narrowing effect with your shoulders having the crisscross up around your collarbone will draw the eye in therefore making your shoulders appear narrower what I also like about this suit is the line across the waist this is creating this is drawing the eye to the center again but it's also creating a slimming effect for the waist which creates a more feminine shape which is something that could be really helpful for the inverted triangle for the triangle shape, you tend to carry your weight on the bottom and you're smaller on top, usually with a smaller waist. So you might opt for a fuller bottom and then get more playful up on top. Like with this crisscross around the middle, that is going to highlight your small waist and it's going to draw the eye up and away from the bottom. Next is the rectangle shape, and this is proportionate through the shoulders and the hips. So usually the shoulders and the hips are around the same size. The waist usually has little definition. So I love all the detail going on with this suit. There's cutouts, there's stripes, there's bold color, and this is all a really great way to play against the rectangle shape, so to create some contrast from your rectangle shape. Plus, the tie in the middle is going to draw the eye towards the waist and it's going to create a more feminine effect. The circle shape carries most of the weight in the middle and generally speaking, the circle shape has slimmer limbs. So this suit with the rouging around the center, this is going to help conceal the tummy. Also, the supportive halter style will help lift the breasts and it will help to elongate the torso. That is something that could be really flattering for the circle shape. The hourglass has the same size shoulders and hips, so like the rectangle, it's very proportionate in that department, but the difference between the rectangle and the hourglass is the hourglass has a very defined waist. So this is a silhouette, this is a shape that 
it's very feminine and a lot of women strive to have this shape in fact when we are playing with our clothing often we are working to give off the illusion of an hourglass so if you have an hourglass shape your swimwear can be really straightforward I love the straightforward silhouette of this with the scoop neck the spaghetti straps it's very simple silhouette and it really just highlights the natural features of an hourglass so I love this suit just because it's so simple and it's so easy and it really just lets you show off what you've got if you're interested in seeing some more suggestions some more shopping suggestions based on body type then make sure to head over to my site at alishalankin.com where I've got all the links so you can shop these suits and I've got a few more there for you to peruse and that's it for the swimsuits by body type I hope this inspired you to shop swimwear based on your shape not your size and I I appreciate you watching all the way to the end thank you so much if you liked what you saw please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe I will be back next week okay see you then bye